Hello everyone. Welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Today we will be looking at a math doku puzzle and how to solve a 4x4 puzzle in an easy way. Please do watch our introduction episode to know more about math doku. Now, this is our method to solve a 4x4 puzzle. The objective is to fill the grid in with the digits 1 through 4. First, we'll identify the cages and mark them as A, B, C, etc. Second, we note down the options available for each cage operation. Third, if there is only one option, then we mark it on the puzzle. Four, then we choose the option from others which meets the criteria to complete the puzzle. Now, Let's start solving a 4x4 puzzle. Let's name the cages. This should be cage A, cage B, cage C, D, E, F, and G. In cage A, there are two cells and the operation is subtraction. After subtracting the two numbers, our result must be 2. So the options are 3 minus 1 and 4 minus 2. Now, in case B, there are three cells and there's a L shaped. This L shaped. And the operation is multiplication. After multiplying, our result must be 24. So the only option is 3 times 2 times 4. In case C, there are two cells. Operation is subtraction. So one number subtracted minus another number must be 1. So the options are 4 minus 3. 3 minus 2 and 2 minus 1. Now, in case D, there are two cells and the operation is division. After dividing, our result must be 2. So the options are 4 divided by 2 and 2 divided by 1. Now, cage E is a freebie cage. The reason it's called a freebie cage is because it's a free cage. When you come across a freebie cage, we just write down the number that is given. Now, in cage F, there are two cells and the operation is addition. After adding, our result must be 5. So, the options are 4 plus 1 and 2 plus 3. Now, KG takes up the whole row. That means that it will have all the numbers for a 4x4 puzzle in a row, which are 1, 2, 3, and 4. To recheck, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is equal to 10. Let's start solving the puzzle. Now let's fill in the if cage E. It's the freebie cage. So the number given here is 2. So we write down 2 over here. Now in cage D, you can see that in both there are two options. In, and in both of the options, there is a 2. This means 2 is must in this cage. Now, as 2 will be there in this cage, the two, that 2 can't be over here because then it would be a repeat of 2 in the same row, which could not be done. So, 2 will come over here. 
here it will be one or four now in the option in cage b you can see three times two times four now the two can't come here or here because then it would be a repeat of two in the same column so the only place in this case where two can go is over here so we write it down now the remaining numbers for case b are three and four we don't know the places so we write it in the middle now for completing this column two came out here three four came out here so that means that the remaining number for this column will be one now in case d you can see that there's a two two can't come in these two cages because then it will be a repeat of two in the same column that means the two in kg will be over here now in this column the remaining numbers are three one and four now only in the remaining numbers needed only two numbers can form five which are four plus which is four plus one so the option that will come here will be four and one now as four one came over here and two came over here so for completing this column three will go go over here now for completing this row or this gate here it will be four as one came over here two three remaining numbers four now case d it can't be four divided by two because if we use that then it'd be a repeat of four in the same column which cannot be done which means that the remaining number here would be one now for completing this column one came over here two came over here four came over here so the remaining number is three now as three came over here the three in the uh, b cage would be over here as if it was over here it would be a repeat of three in the same row so three will come over here and four over here now for completing this row two came over here three over here four over here so the only number left is one which we write down now in this column one already came so that means one can't be repeated which means that for cage f one will be over here as one can one if one was in return over here it will be a repeat of one in the same row now for completing this row the remaining number over here is three and for completing this whole puzzle here it would be four let's recheck three minus one is equal to two four times two times three is equal to 24. four minus three is equal to one two divided by one is equal to two four plus one is equal to five and two plus four plus one plus three is equal to ten now let's solve another math doku puzzle let's name the cages this would be cage a cage b cage c d e 
and F. In case A, there are four cells and the operation is multiplication. After multiplying, our result must be 24. So the only option for cage A is 1 times 2 times 3 times 4. Now, in cage B, there are two cells and the operation is subtraction. So one number minus another number must be 3. So the only option in a 4 by 4 puzzle is 4 minus 1. Now, in case C, there are three cells. Operation is addition. So, three numbers added, the result must be nine. So, as numbers cannot be repeated, the only option here would be two plus three plus four. Now, in case D, there are two cells. Operation is subtraction. After subtracting, our result must be 2. So, the only options are 3 minus 1 and 4 minus 2. Now, in case E, there are three cells and it's an L-shaped cage. Operation is addition. So after adding these three cells, our result must be six. So as it is an L-shaped cage, it may have multiple options. So one plus options are one plus two plus three and four plus one plus one. Now in cage F, there are two cells. And the operation is division. After dividing the two numbers, our result must be 2. So the options are 4 divided by 2 and 2 divided by 1. Let's start solving the puzzle. Now, in case C, there is only one option, which is 2 plus 3 plus 4. We don't know the places for each number, so that's why we write it over here, the middle. Now, for completing this row, 2 came over here, 3 and 4, which means that the remaining number will be 1. Now, in case B, the option is 4 minus 1. We don't know the places, so we write it down. Now, for completing this column, as 1 and 4 will come over here, the remaining numbers over here would be 2 and 3. So we don't know the places, so we write it in the middle. Now, for completing cage A, we need 1, 2, 3, and 4. As 1, 2, and 3 came over here, so the remaining number, which will be over here, will be 4. Now, in cage F, you can see the options are 4 divided by 2 and 2 divided by 1. In both of these options, there is 4 and 1. And also, 2 is also there. So that means that 2 will come over here. And 1 or 4 will go over here. Now, for completing this column, here it would be 3. And for completing this cage, here 2. Now, Let's look at this row. The remaining numbers are 1, 3, and 2. So, 
the only option which only two numbers which we subtract we get the result two is only one option which is three and one so if three and one come came over here and four came over here so for completing this row here it would be two which eliminates the second option as there is no two in there now in case c you can see the options are uh, in the option it's two plus three plus four two can't come in this cell or in this cell because then it would be a repeat of two in the same column so that means the two in this case would be over here now Uh, in case E, the option is 1 plus 2 plus 3. As 2 came out here, the remaining numbers would be 1 and 3. We don't know the places, so we write it in the middle. Now, as 1 came over here, 2 over here, and 3 over here, so for completing this row, here it would be 4. Now, in case C, the remaining numbers are 3 and 4. As 4 came over here, 3 will go over here as if 4 was there, it could, then it will be a repeat of 4 in the same column. 3 over there and 4 over here. Now, as 4 came over here, the so 4 in cage B will go over here as if it was used over here, it will be a repeat of 4 in the same column. 4 over here and 1 over here. Now, for completing this column, here, it would be 3. And for completing this row, here, it would be 1. Now, as 1 came over here, the oh, for completing this column, here, it would be 3. And for completing the whole puzzle, here, it will be 1. Let's check our answers. 1 times 3, 2 times 3 times 4 is equal to 24. 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. 3 plus 2 plus 4 is equal to 9. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. 2 plus 1 plus 3 is equal to 6. And 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. This is all about math doku. Wasn't it interesting? For more useful videos, please subscribe to our channel, Rain Blitz Audio. See you soon. Bye bye.